Top 99 Marcus Tullius Cicero quotes. Everyone is least known to himself, and it is very difficult for a man to know himself. It is a true saying that one falsehood easily leads to another. The enemy is within the gates, it is with our own luxury, our own folly, our own criminality that we have to contend. The greatest pleasures are only narrowly separated from disgust. Do not hold the delusion that your advancement is accomplished by crushing others. The first bond of society is the marriage tie, the next our children, then the whole family of our house, and all things in common. He who suffers, remembers. For what people have always sought is equality before the law. For rights that were not open to all alike would be no rights. Art is born of the observation and investigation of nature. Your enemies can kill you, but only your friends can hurt you. An unjust peace is better than a just war. There is no duty more indispensable than that of returning a kindness. It is not by muscle, speed, or physical dexterity that great things are achieved, but by reflection, force of character, and judgment. The best interpreter of the law is custom. The spirit is the true self. The spirit, the will to win, and the will to excel are the things that endure. History illumines reality, vitalizes memory, provides guidance in daily life. It shows a brave and resolute spirit not to be agitated in exciting circumstances. Few are those who wish to be endowed with virtue rather than to seem so. Virtue is its own reward. I hope that the memory of our friendship will be everlasting. Let your desires be ruled by reason. To add a library to a house is to give that house a soul. We are not born for ourselves alone. Friendship makes prosperity more brilliant and lightens adversity by dividing and sharing it. The contemplation of celestial things will make a man both speak and think more sublimely and magnificently when he descends to human affairs. I criticize by creation, not by finding fault. It is a crime to put a Roman citizen in chains it is an enormity to flog one, sheer murder to slay one, what, then, shall I say of crucifixion? It is impossible to find the word for such an abomination. The hours pass and the days and the months and the years, and the past time never returns. No wise man ever thought that a traitor should be trusted. I follow nature as the surest guide, and resign myself with implicit obedience to her sacred ordinances. I am a Roman citizen. We are born poets. We become orators. Nobody can give you wiser advice than yourself. If you pursue good with labor, the labor passes away, but the good remains. If you pursue evil with pleasure, the pleasure passes away and the evil remains. What is thine is mine, and all mine is thine. Next to God we are nothing. To God we are everything. A good orator is pointed and impassioned. If we lose affection and kindliness from our life, we lose all that gives it charm. We were born to unite with our fellow men and to join in community with the human race. Inability to tell good from evil is the greatest worry of man's life. Nothing is more noble, nothing more venerable than fidelity. Faithfulness and truth are the most sacred excellences and endowments of the human mind. In ancient times music was the foundation of all the sciences. Education was begun with music with the persuasion that nothing could be expected of a man who was ignorant of music. Law is the highest reason implanted in nature, which commands what ought to be done and forbids the opposite. The aim of justice is to give everyone his due. There is no grief which time does not lessen and soften. 
What is permissible is not always honorable. We are bound by the law, so that we may be free. The devil finds work for idle hands to do. Better to reign in the hell than serve in heaven. We are in bondage to the law in order that we may be free. When you have no basis for an argument, abuse the plaintiff. Memory is the treasury and guardian of all things. Time is the herald of truth. Extreme justice is extreme injustice. The shifts of fortune test the reliability of friends. The function of wisdom is to discriminate between good and evil. The hope of impunity is the greatest inducement to do wrong. The harvest of old age is the recollection and abundance of blessing previously secured. Friendship was given by nature to be an assistant to virtue, not a companion in vice. Learning is a kind of natural food for the mind. Nothing is so unbelievable that oratory cannot make it acceptable. Friendship is nothing else than an accord in all things, human and divine, conjoined with mutual goodwill and affection. A friend is, as it were, a second self. To know the laws is not to memorize their letter but to grasp their full force and meaning. Strain every nerve to gain your point. If our lives are endangered by plots or violence or armed robbers or enemies, any and every method of protecting ourselves is morally right. Brevity is the best recommendation of speech, whether in a senator or an orator. The precept, know yourself, was not solely intended to obviate the pride of mankind, but likewise that we might understand our own worth. The whole life of a philosopher is the meditation of his death. Cannot people realize how large an income is thrift? God's law is a right reason. When perfectly understood it is called wisdom. When applied by government in regulating human relations it is called justice. For there is assuredly nothing dearer to a man than wisdom, and though age takes away all else, it undoubtedly brings us that. The man who commands efficiently must have obeyed others in the past, and the man who obeys dutifully is worthy of someday being a commander. In prosperity let us most carefully avoid pride, disdain, and arrogance. To reduce man to the duties of his own city, and to disengage him from duties to the members of other cities, is to break the universal society of the human race. If nature does not ratify law, then all the virtues may lose their sway. The wise man never loses his temper. The absolute good is not a matter of opinion but of nature. Nothing is so swift as calumny, nothing is more easily propagated, nothing more readily credited, nothing more widely circulated. Not to know what has been transacted in former times is to be always a child. If no use is made of the labors of past ages, the world must remain always in the infancy of knowledge. You will be as much value to others as you have been to yourself. There is no quality I would rather have, and be thought to have, than gratitude. For it is not only the greatest virtue, but is the mother of all the rest. When a government becomes powerful it is destructive, extravagant, and violent. It is an usurer which takes bread from innocent mouths and deprives honorable men of their substance, for votes with which to perpetuate itself. Nature herself has imprinted on the minds of all the idea of God. As in the case of wines that improve with age, the oldest friendships ought to be the most delightful. For what I lack in experience I make up for in diligence. Of this last kind of comparisons is that quoted from the elder Cato, who, when asked what was the most profitable thing to be done on an estate, replied, to feed cattle well. What second best? To feed cattle moderately well? What third best? 
to feed cattle, though but poorly. What forth best? To plow the land. And when he who had made these inquiries asked, what is to be said of making profit by usury? Cato replied, what is to be said of making profit by murder? Justice is the crowning glory of the virtues. Men resemble the gods in nothing so much as in doing good to their fellow creatures. The precepts of the law are these, to live honestly, to injure no one, and to give everyone else his due. An innocent man, if accused, can be acquitted, a guilty man, unless accused, cannot be condemned. It is, however, more advantageous to absolve an innocent than not to prosecute a guilty man. We are not born, we do not live for ourselves alone, our country, our friends, have a share in us. There is no place more delightful than home. Neither can embellishments of language be found without arrangement and expression of thoughts, nor can thoughts be made to shine without the light of language. By doubting we come at truth. The budget should be balanced, the treasury refilled, public debt reduced, the arrogance of officialdom tempered and controlled, and the assistance to foreign lands curtailed, lest Rome become bankrupt.